one-eighth scale nitro-powered off-road buggies. That's their full title, it's their full official title. My name is Pete Wells. I was born into it. Um, my father was actually doing this before I was born, and the reason for that was my elder brother, who's about 10 years older than me, uh, started falling in with a few bad crowds uh, a long, long time ago, and he started stealing cars and borderline getting into serious trouble. Uh, so as a, a big father-son thing, uh, they bought a few model boats and started racing model boats. Uh, to keep him away from that at the weekends when he was doing nothing and as a result of that when I was born I mean there's photographs of me at age two weeks old sat surrounded by full-blown competition race boats uh, <laughs> sat in a Moses basket uh, so I didn't really have a lot of choice in the matter Model cars it's it's a proper motorsport so you get to race and um, it's one of the cheapest forms of real motorsport that you could get involved in uh, you get the same adrenaline rush with the race as you do with anything else. And the best part about it is nobody gets killed. There are um, four uh, continental federations, and then they're all split up into various different country federations. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've been to European Championships and World Championships throughout Europe. Uh, we're off to Vienna this year for the European Championships again. 3.5. CC engine and uh, the engines themselves are powered off methanol it's a nitromethane mix um, they're full off-road racing cars they have coilover shocks oil dampers the whole nine yards everything that exists on a real race car the cars are stripped down most weeks not fully but again it's not an, an overly essential thing um, for the beginner we just say uh, keep the screws tight and keep the cars roughly clean Half an hour of, of, of a job would do that. Uh, and most of the time is spent playing with them now. If you want to be the best, if you want to win, then you've got to prepare your cars properly. Tactics are just like full motorsport. I mean, uh, that particular car there in a final for a national event would last for 45 minutes. Now, on a full tank of fuel, the car's only good for about eight or nine minutes. So, therefore, you've got pit stops, you've got all the, the pit stop strategies that. Uh, can come out. Um, for example, in a 45-minute race, if you run eight-minute fuel stops, you'll make five fuel stops in a 45-minute in a race. If you run nine-minute fuel stops, you'll only make four. So that's just like Formula One in that respect. Uh, there's a multitude of different tires you can choose from, and of course, getting the right tire selection is, in, is important as well. The Galway Club has about 35 members on the books. Um, so you never get them all out at any one weekend, but. That's, that's the sort of numbers you're looking at. There's an awful lot more people racing model cars in Galway, meeting up in car parks and uh, various different areas around Galway. And there's a bunch of guys hook up together, they go play with a toy car. This is the only properly affiliated real club that involves itself in nationals and what have you, but uh, there are lots of pockets around. The off-road track that we use in Galway is at uh, Mother Hubbard's on the Dublin Road and they kindly uh, allowed us the use of a piece of land beside them and uh, we race there every Sunday from about 10 o'clock onwards. Three skills required for model car racing would be number one, uh, hand-eye coordination, number two, patience, uh, and number three, uh, attention to detail. Accidents happen, bits get broken, it happens. Well, nobody gets hurt in an accident with a toy car as a rule. It's not to say that it can't happen, but uh, if you do have a crash on the track, um, you have to settle back down again and get on with the race. If you try and make up all the time that you've just lost in the next three corners, you're going to crash again. There was a point in my life which I thought about giving up RC cars and just going doing something else, 
but I actually couldn't think of anything else to go and do, so I'm still racing RC cars. I would agree that it is big boys with toys, but you've got to remember that when we get to the pearly gates at the end, it's the guy with the most toys wins. Yeah, look, we all do something at the weekend. Some guys go off fishing, some guys play with model planes, some people play with trains. Some guys go spend it in a pub all night. Everybody does something, this is what we do.